What's up, drumheads? And welcome to What to Practice, episode 15. That's f***ing stupid. Unless you've been living under a rock, then I'm sure you have seen this guy's videos. El Estepario Siberi... Siberiano. Something like that. He's f***ing insane. He has obviously proven to the drum world that he kicks ass at the drums, he's very fast, very precise, and he kind of doesn't give a f which is what I love. The point of the What to Practice series is to basically show you guys something that I want to practice and show you the struggles that I have while I'm trying to practice this thing. So today we're going to be checking out one of his videos that he posted a while back, and it's of him playing Bleed by Meshuggah, but he's using a single pedal and he's kind of using his left foot on the hi-hat and it just sounds super badass. So that's what we're going to do today. It's like her toes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's like a pattern of three. Okay. Oh my God. That's not so bad. It's like right, left, hat, hat. Okay. So it's like a half time over the herta, but in four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's like a polyrhythm, like a three over four half time groove kind of thing. I don't know if I can do that. But we're gonna try. So first thing I'm doing is trying to hear that pulse underneath. As if you're counting like one, two, three, four. What the f dude? Oh my God, there's gonna be a lot of bleeps in this video. That's the kick pattern, I know that for sure. It's like you're hitting every third 16th note or something. The hard part is the... F man. Oh my God. Dude, what? Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta slow it down. I'm gonna try and think of where that first snare lands. What else is hitting with that first snare on three? So. I gotta count ands. It's on that. It's on that. Okay, the next one's with the kick. Dude. This is so sloppy. It's like, the faster you play it, the easier it is to feel when that snare is supposed to be. But the slower you go, the easier it is to play, but the harder it is to count and know where you are. That's my issue. That's it. Oh my fuck. So the next one is. <sighs> that 
That was four bars. <sighs> okay. You know when you're practicing drums and you get in that flow and you feel like, you're like, yeah, I got it now. That was on a little, a little flow there. Okay. I'm gonna try and keep time. Ho 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 ho. Oh f it. Andy keeps time on the upbeats too. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? No. No. Ah, oh, he's such a dick. He makes it look so easy. <laughs> oh, it's almost easier if you go faster. It's sloppier. Sapario. <laughs> oh, dude, my whole body is so uncomfortable right now. I'm so uncomfortable. Alright, I've done the circuit. I've made it all the way around. I'm I'm moving on. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this one's a pattern of five now with the feet and the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Five. And then he brings in the back feet. So then it's like four over five. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that kind of hurts my brain. What? No, wait. Go back. What? I, I, I literally, I can't follow what's happening. Conceptually, I understand what's happening. He's like an octopus, dude. Each limb has its own brain. Like, you're doing so many different things. At the same time, I, that's what drumming is, I guess. Okay, so this is basically just like the one we were just doing, but you're gonna add a kick and a hi hat after it. That's the easy part. So now you have to play that fucked up shit while counting in your head and hit the snare on three. I, I don't even know where to start. Oh, now I just want to play the other one now. <laughs> How do you... Okay, all right. I'm going to try and just do that. Keep time. All right, so your, your right hand's going to be going on the down beats and then the up beats, kind of. No, technically this is going on the downbeat and then the upbeat. Like, like you'll hear it at the beginning of the... <laughs> How do you explain this, dude? Okay, now we have to hit every other one of these hi-hats. So I'm gonna go like from my, my leg to this. Right? Now that's giving us every and. 
<laughs> I can't count and do it. You're gonna you're gonna have to count on your own. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. No. No. How? Okay. I'm gonna think about where that first one lands. I can't count at all. I don't know where the fuck I am. Okay, all right. I think the idea is to get so comfortable with doing that that you obviously don't have to think about it anymore. And you're just thinking about it as like a group of five. And maybe count 16th notes over that. <sighs> okay, okay. So now we can play that. But we can count 16th notes over that. Smack the snare on three. Three, 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 fuck. Ah. What if I have a metronome in my ear counting for me? My ear pods are dead. And I don't have one of those dongle thingies for my phone so I can use regular headphones. Well, fuck me then. Ah! I don't think I can physically do this. I'm really contemplating giving up right now. I'm gonna try and hit the first three, the first backbeat on three. That's it. I did it. Oh! Three, we're getting to the second one, okay? Does that mean I have to figure out like five positions? The snare, I think, is gonna land in five different positions. <laughs> this has to be so annoying to listen to. If you're still watching, I applaud you. My mind, my brain literally feels like mush, mush sugar. I really cannot physically do this. I can literally only get to the first backbeat. Fuck the backbeat. I'm gonna try and keep the upbeats on the stack. Is that right? I don't even know if it's right. I'm like thinking so hard. I can't even count or like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think I need to take a break. No, you're so close, man. You're so close. My body, God, I'm like uncomfortable in my skin right now. I'm gonna have to throw in the towel. I've been working on this one for an hour now. Okay, I'm gonna give it, that's 2.40 p.m. I'm gonna give it till three. I'm gonna practice for 20 more minutes, very diligently. It's just uncomfortable, man. Like when you're practicing weird independent stuff like this, your body just feels so gross. You just feel so disgusting. Like you're, you're literally dying. Your skin, your mind, your arms and legs.
are all fighting against one another. And they're all asking you, why are you doing this to yourself? And I don't have an answer for you. Why do we do this? No fucking idea. That's it. I think that was it. I wasn't counting. I was on full on autopilot. It's hard because you're focusing on playing the five pattern and hoping that you don't just play the three pattern and also trying to count how many times you're doing this. One and two and three and four and... And uh, I think I can just do it on autopilot. Dude, I think that's it. I think that's it, but I, I literally do not know because my brain is fried right now. I don't know. I, I haven't even made it all the way either. It's tough because like, I just don't, I don't know where I am. I'm trying to count, but I can't do it while counting. If I had a metronome, that would help, but... All right, hang on. Hang on. I made it all the way through the cycle. I made it all the way through. And it is 3.02. I was so close to giving up. It helps a lot to have the metronome and then look at the dots and then when it hits three, you know, that's when you smack the snare. I think pattern three is easier. I hope to God. One, two. It's like a grouping of three. One, two. Three, two, three. Okay, that's not so hard. We could do that. We can do that one. I'm guessing the music underneath it though is like in four, four or something like that. That's not, it's not just like in three. Yeah, way easier. Hard to do it clean, but that's it. I'm moving on. So pattern four is just like pattern one, but in common time, not half time. Also, what I love about Esopario in this video, he doesn't say one fucking word. He just goes straight to the point and he's just showing you. He gets rid of all the bullshit. I talk way too much. Oh, there's even a comment here that says that. The complete lack of words makes this video lesson far more enjoyable than everything else on YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> pattern four is just like pattern one, but instead of it being half time, so the snare on three, it's gonna be common time. So snare on two and four. So if you got Nope, that's the old one. No, oh, that's right. That's right. Oh my god. I'm pretty proud of myself, man. That shit was hard. 
All right, well, that was fun. Thanks, Estepario, for giving me something to practice today. If you guys have other suggestions for things that I should practice, then please drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Uh, I love making these watch practice videos because it gets me behind the kit and gets me to practice because it's probably the only time I practice. That's the thing, guys, with drumming. It's like sometimes I go through phases of inspiration and, and I, don't, I don't practice every day. Or not like I used to. I used to practice every day. I know sometimes we all go through like those ups and downs where we're super inspired and then sometimes we're not. Yeah, that's kind of what these videos are for. Like if you guys don't know what to practice, then maybe you can try practicing this. And that's also another thing is like, there's so much stuff on YouTube. You can find tons of stuff to practice on YouTube. If you feel uninspired, just like scroll around YouTube, look at drum videos. Even if you're watching a video and some drummer does a drum fill, then like pause it, rewind, slow it down to like 50% and listen and just like learn that one drum fill. That's what I used to do. Or you could even click the link in the description below and get 30 days free of Drumeo Edge. They support the channel and I'm super grateful for them to support the channel. Literally, without their help, this would be much more difficult. So um, I appreciate that, Drumeo. If you guys want 30 days free, click the link in the description below. Check out their online lessons. They got a bunch of lessons on there, a bunch of play-alongs, practice tools. If you feel uninspired, you will be inspired when you go on Drumeo. I promise you. Yeah, you just feel better about yourself after like a practice session like that. I wasn't able to do that three hours ago, but now I can. I don't know, that's, that's why I like drumming. It's like instant gratification. It's like you work hard on something and you see the progress right in front of your eyes. Yeah, same with skateboarding. That's why I love skateboarding. You practice something over and over again and then you land it and you're like, oh my God. And you get that instant gratification. It's, it's, it's sick. I lost about 300 subscribers the other day. I think you guys don't like it when I don't post anything drum related. I know this is like a drum channel, drum channel, but I never wanted to be the channel that just like pounded out lesson after lesson and like next week comes along and I'm like, what, what do I teach? And then I make up some lesson that's bullshit that I don't really care about and post it just to post a video every single week. And I never wanted to do that. I only want to post videos that I'm excited about, things that I'm inspired about. Yeah, my followers may not like that, but I'm sorry. Because I this YouTube channel is, is honestly for me. I never made, I didn't make the YouTube channel in the beginning because I wanted a bunch of subscribers. I started posting covers because I wanted to see what I, I thought I looked cool playing the drums and I, I liked it. So I posted drum covers and then I started posting lessons and stuff like that. And um, yeah, my channel is unfortunately not gonna be that drum channel where you get lessons every week. It's just not gonna be that. It's gonna be random shit. Whatever I come up with, I'm gonna post to the YouTube channel. Whatever part of my life I'm in, I'm gonna post to the YouTube channel. It's kind of a place for me to gauge my progress and I don't know, post content that I'm passionate about. So I appreciate everybody who's here and everybody who watches my videos. I love you guys and I love having this YouTube channel. It's literally my pride and joy. Uh, next week, I'm going to California for the NAMM show. Okay, I'm gonna blog the whole thing. We're getting a drum house. I won't tell you who's gonna be there, but it's gonna be sick. All right, I'm out of here. I'm gonna drink some water and do something that doesn't require brain power. Like probably edit this video, which requires a lot of brain power. Yeah.